We're following a breaking news alert now. The Putnam County Sheriff's Office needs your help finding a missing person. Cal yeah, Putnam County Sheriff's Office needs your help looking for 35 year old Perry Bowman. Take a look at your screen. He lives in Baxter, Tennessee, and his family says they haven't seen him in over two months. Authorities say he's 5'5", weighs about 175 pounds. He was last seen by family on September 23rd. Now he has ties to Putnam, Jackson, and Cumberland counties. If, if you have any information, you're encouraged to call the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. Today we traveled up to Baxter, Tennessee to search for missing person Isaac Bowman. It's been about three weeks since his disappearance and the family reached out to us seeing if we could help them in any way. Now this case is very different because there's there's no vehicle involved. I don't know how much the family is going to want to be on camera or if any, but we're going to be out there searching, bring you guys along a little bit on what we're going to do. We're going to get on the boat, do some sonar and uh, try to see if we can find the answer. So we're about a mile away, so let's drive down there and uh, check this spot out. Mm. Something right there, the bucket, or a few buckets. There's a couple things on the bank that I did see. Couldn't guarantee it's anything but casting a shadow. So you're not too close, but I mean. You don't see an whoop. object or anything? Not on this side, that side I did. Like what shape? There was the tree, it's that. It was after the tree. What is it? A car seat? Yeah. Not a Is that the thing you were seeing? That's one of them. That doesn't give me any positive. It's really small. Yeah. At the end of that tree. But I mean, we're shooting five feet. And that doesn't even break five feet. It looks like a rock or something. There's nothing else. At the very tip of that tree that's down, that's what we kept going over. But whatever we kept seeing is barely five feet long. Yeah. So Isaac was five five. Yeah. And then the closer we got, I think it's just part of that tree. It's probably just partly yeah, buried. But from what I was looking at in sonar, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's out there. Oh. We searched that pond. It appears clear. I mean, there was that one thing. Yeah, but we found it was the car seat, and then the car seat was kind of weird. But he probably used it for fishing before. I don't know. Had a comfortable junk, seat, so but nothing there. that stood out to us. No, there's that, that one spot that we checked over and over again, but it wasn't even breaking five foot. You know, and it didn't look like a body. Dude's five five. I don't think it's him. I think yeah. it's part of that tree. But there is like several other boat ramps in the area, so we're gonna go check those just to cover uh, cover our bases at all the obvious spots, and I mean, see if there's anything that stands out on the sonar. So we don't have a lot of time left, but let's uh, let's make use of the rest of the day and clear as much areas as we can. Indeed. Let's go. All right, we're in the boat. Got the sonars running. So you were saying you were interested in that ravine driving down? It looks it's pretty steep and dangerous. I mean, I mean, water, like if it is, you know, foul play, which it's, all the signs are kind of leaning to, trying to make them disappear, like water is the obvious. We got the sun as we're running. It's 14 feet right here. The boat ramp's way up high. I, I'm guessing the water's just really low right now. Oh yeah, they drain it like this was, uh, that's how it was a year ago when I was here. So there should be a car, what is it, a Mercedes you found? What's the word? Head that way. Where are you you dove on it? No. Oh. So you found it, reported it, and they dove on it? I don't know. The word was they already knew it was here and they was going to pull it out. I don't know if they did or not. We'll find out pretty quick. So we may pull that out on our Wrecked and Recovered channel. I think they pulled it out because there's there's tire track marks right here. You see it? Yeah. All right, we've checked this area. Nothing stood off as you know a body. 
the car that we thought was well, the car that was here i guess has been removed since yeah. so we're gonna keep looking maybe around some woods maybe some boat ramps but the sun's already going down so it's instantly like freezing so yeah, we're it's gonna, supposed to get below freezing but we're gonna I mean, check as much as we can today though yeah we're, we're staying the night so i mean we, there's still a couple more spots i want to search yeah but it's gonna require sunlight so i don't know if yeah. we're gonna make it tonight or tomorrow but but we're gonna get on the road keep going I think we're gonna check a spot up here first and look in the woods just to see but might as well i think it's less likely because it's kind of a pop you know well-driven area yeah but i mean it goes but down a ways ease of access but and nobody looks out their window when they drive it's true Especially down that sketchy road i think it was steep <laughs> yeah i'll follow you i didn't even realize it drops off this side too oh yeah this this road is steep so if they was driving down this way dang near vertical She's not going to drive. She's probably riding with somebody. He's looking out the window. So more than likely, unless she's yelling stop, it could be either side. I'm just thinking out loud. So we're looking for like a shoe or something. There's a lot of trash over here. Yeah. The TV. See the TV down there? Oh yeah, it's definitely a treacherous road. And people do dump stuff out here. There's tires. You know the leaves are pretty. It's, it's pretty clear now with the weather. You can you can see a lot. I mean, of course it's a long shot, but the more we search, the more we can help clear areas, and that's the most important thing. So right next to where we parked, I looked down, and there's a bunch of trash and stuff down here. And it looks like a pile of bones. I'm guessing it's some animal. It's more like animal bones. Yeah, it's like, is it a deer? Or, actually, I don't know. I don't think that's a deer. If you guys know what type those are, leave a comment. I'd be interested to know. There's just tons of trash. And there is a shoe here. I don't know. Obviously, this is more likely just somebody dumped their trash here, but I don't know what type of shoes. There's a bunch of shoes here. I don't know what type of shoe he was wearing. This is just a mess. All right, we're checking these last couple boat ramps farther down. We have been here before in the past and didn't find anything, but uh, since we're in the area, again, we're checking them again. Like you can see, it's getting dark super fast. We only have like, really it's too dark now, but uh, there's just enough light to see. So we're gonna check here and zip up and then get out of here. All right, and it's clearly very dark out here, but we're quickly checking this ramp. We're actually at the marina where we found William Hoteling. It was like a year ago, maybe? Uh, not quite I don't think it's quite a year yet but it's uh it was warm yeah it was warm but and it's probably right here but you can see yeah, there's the huge pile of tires there's remember like that tons Jeez. of tires here for some reason yeah i never got to see that before but his car i mean we know there's some boats and other things out here god that is just disgusting how many tires are out here get a close up of that <laughs> that whole pile is tires So it is the next day and we are continuing the search for Isaac a little bit. There's a few more spots that the family sent to us to come out and check. Uh, I, I think some of these we're just going to be walking around. There is access, like here's one. This spot you could get a boat in over there technically, but there's no real ramp. And it's like a small little community around here. So we're just trying to go around, see if there's anything that catches our eye. And we're just trying to be out here and help the family as much as possible, you know, search these areas, see if we can find anything to help or at least clear some spots. This spot, the water is. This is the. This is one of the few spots we're gonna check before having to head out. It looks pretty clear out here. So off the bat, this spot doesn't jump out as a criminal spot where somebody is trying to come out here and, you know, hide a body or something like that. 
just looks like actually a nice hangout spot and there's like a lot of houses all around so i kind of don't think this is the spot but we'll look around a little bit and see if anything catches our eye regardless and uh keep going there's a few other spots after this we're going to check too so one of the things we are looking for is like articles of clothing i don't know exactly what he was wearing but i mean stuff like this it's like a beanie i think i saw a pair of shorts over in the water too Typically is what we would look for, but we don't know exactly what he was last wearing. But it's still good to kind of look for those things that stand out because everything does help. What you think? Uh, I mean, I'm, I got all kinds of thoughts. One, I mean, he could be here. Uh, you know, cause obviously we're two people. It's really hard to cover a lot of ground, yeah. but and then I'm trying to think like, well, let's say like the bad guys, you know, came out here to dispose of the body. Now we heard the story about who they think the bad guys are. Mm -hmm. Drugs is involved. I'm sure they're not in shape, you know, so like they're going to be pulling 150 pounds of dead weight around. It's not going to be far off the trail. No. So like I walked these trails back there. I looked at the most like everywhere where I was seeing something, I went to it and I looked around. Didn't see anything. Saw some clothes, you know, feminine products, mm -hmm. male protection products. I guess the best way to say it. A lot of trash. It. A few Lots of trash. Clothing articles and. Uh... It's not surprising, but I, mean, I, I took I took pictures of everything. So at least the family, like, maybe one of those pieces of clothing is his. I don't know. But we got two more spots. Yeah. Let's go to those spots and see if we have any better luck. All right. Actually ever we walked down this trail. We made it to the rocks here. We're just kind of going up along the banks again. Just keep searching. If anything catches our eye, we'll show y'all. Water is definitely really low. There's like a. I don't see anything on the blade. Multi tool. Somebody's fishing. Dropped it. Yeah. I'm gonna sit right here for just a second. Go over here and look around real quick. Yeah, there's something big and white over there. It looks like a rock. From you. Yeah. So that white thing was just a big piece of foam. There's something over there. And there's a barrel over here. It's like one of those spots where all the trash and crap comes up. Empty. I think that little fort's made of rocks. Is it? Yeah. I wonder how old it is. Water's coming out from under it. Yeah. It's an old spring or something they wanted to keep protected. Well. I don't see nothing. Yeah, off the bat it looks clear. A lot of weird stuff. The search for a missing Putnam County man has come to a heartbreaking end. On Wednesday, police found the remains of Perry Bowman in a wooded area near a church. He was reported missing earlier this month, but his father hadn't spoke to him since September. A medical examiner will determine how he died.